Good morning. Welcome to the morning prayer meeting. If you have the Bible, look at the book of Psalm, chapter 13. Psalm, chapter 13. For the director of music, a psalm of David. How long, O Lord, will you forget me? Forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I rest with my thought, and every day have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemy triumph over me? Look on me and answer, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, and O I will sleep in death. My enemy will say, I have overcome him, and my foes uh, will rejoice when I fall. But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, for he has been good to me. This is David. Do you know David? He was a mighty man of God. He was a fighter. He killed the Goliath. He killed uh, so many Palestine. He was a warrior. But when he killed the Goliath, he got uh, trouble for 13 years. Can you imagine? He ran away from King Saul for, 14, for 13 years. He was a hero of Israel, but still King was uh, jealous. That is why he tried to kill David. If you look at the Psalm chapter 13, do you know verse 1 and 2? How many times David said, How long, how long, how long? Four times. <laughs> he said, How long, O oh Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? Do you know when somebody says, How long, means, Oh God, I have a patient, but how long I keep this patient? <laughs> yeah. That kind of express. I don't know how long my enemy and try to kill me. I don't know how long will you forget me forever. How long must I rest with my thought? Can you see that? He said, rest with his thought. His thought. Do you know? You know, where is the greatest battle, better ground? is in your heart. <laughs> Do you understand? Some pastor kicking out all the demons in Jesus' name. Man, you're powerful. But God spoke to me, you need to kick out demons in your thought, <laughs> in your heart, inside. You know, greatest battle is actually within you and me. Do you know that? Not outside. Not outside of your life. But within you. That is why Paul or David said, How long must I rest with my thought? Yeah? He was agony, painful. He would say, I rest with my thought. Yeah? How many experience you rest with your thought? Oh, should I give up now? Or I can keep patient? Should I <laughs> fight with this man or not? Oh, God, help me, Lord. How long uh, must I rest with my thought? And every day I have a sorrow in my heart. Can you see his heart? Can you see his agony, his pain? His how long will my enemy triumph over me? Look like his, his enemy is you know, happy because of you know, uh, I'm in struggle now. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm difficult situation. My enemies laugh. My enemies rejoice. That kind of express. How long will my enemy triumph over me? He said, "Look, look at me." <laughs> Did the God does know. He knows everything. God sees everything. He said, "Look at me." An answer, Oh Lord, my God, give light to my eyes. I will sleep in that. Help me, Lord. That kind of express. Yeah. And then he said, My enemy will say, I have overcome him, and my foes will rejoice when I fall. 
do you understand? How many of you have this kind of uh, experience? <laughs> Your enemies are so happy when you struggle. <laughs> so many times. <laughs> Did you understand? Your enemies rejoice. They, they have overcome. You and me, sometimes two times. But look at the result. It's a conclusion. Verse 5. But. Can you say but? I trust in you unveiling them. Amen. But I trust in your unveiling them. That's it. Full stop. Game over. If you have this kind of attitude in the eyes of the law, yeah, I trust in your unveiling love. I'm more than conqueror. I trust in your uh, unfailing love, agape love, everlasting love, eternal love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I know, I know. Enemies look like they <laughs> rejoice when I fall, but I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. And continues, I will sing to the Lord, for he has been good to me. You see, this is a very good attitude. Look like you are very painful, so hard. But remember that the Lord God is so good. Amen. Amen. He is so good. All the times. God is so good? Yes. All the times. He can be action. When I say God is so good, you say all the time. When I say all the time, you say God is so good. Are you ready? God is so good? All the time. All the times? All the time. You say God is good. Okay, okay. God is so good all the time. All the time, God is good. Yeah? God is good all the time. God is good all the times. All the time, God is good. This man, David, he knew that. He has been so good to me. I never doubt about that. In my distress, in my hardship, in my difficult situation, I know that. I trust in your unfailing love. You know, if you claim like this, <clears throat> you believe that all things work together for good. Do you know that? Look at the Romans 8, 28. It's a very famous scripture. Romans 8.28 <clears throat> We know. We know and I know. We know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Romans 8.28 Satan is not very happy with this scripture because any Christian you know, claim that this one, Romans 8.28 I know that in all things God works for the good. All things work for good. Because I love God, because I receive the calling according to His purpose. All things working together for good. You must remember all things working together for good. Look at the Psalm 55, verse 22 and 23. Psalm 55. 22 and 23. Cast your cares on the Lord, and He will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Can you say Amen? Yeah. This is the promise of God. Cast your cares on the Lord. Cast your burden onto Jesus. He will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. But you, you and me, eh? Oh God, will bring down the wicked into the pit of corruption, bloodthirsty and deceitful men. You see, can you see that? This kind of people, bloodthirsty people, deceitful people, will not live out half their days. For any, for, <coughs> for any, <coughs> sorry, <laughs> for any for me, I trust in you. Yeah. Can you say it together? And for me, I trust in you. 
And for me, I trust in you. Yeah, and for me, I trust in you. I trust in you alone, O oh God. Don't try to trust in your money. Don't try to trust in somebody. Don't try to trust in some material things or worldly things, secular things. You will pass away. Heaven and earth will pass away. The word of God never pass away. Therefore, but as for me, I trust in you, Lord. That kind of attitude. Look at Psalm 91, 14 to 16. Psalm 91 is a beautiful uh, scripture about uh, your protection. Psalm 91, verse 14 to 16. S Satisfy us in the morning with your unfailing love. You see? David say, and for me, I trust in your unfailing love. And satisfy us in the morning with your unfailing love, that you may sing for joy and be glad all our days. How many believe that God will satisfy you with his unfailing love all the days of your life? Look at Psalm 91, verse 14 and 16. Yeah, 14 to 16. And verse 15 now. Make us glad for as many days as you have afflicted us, for as many years as we have seen trouble. May your deed be shown to your servant, your splendor to their children. He knows. God satisfy you. Yeah, God will give you joy and glad. Eh? Oh, sorry, sorry, here yeah. I made a mistake, sorry. I, I read Psalm 90, actually, Psalm 90. <coughs> 90. 90. Forgive me, 90. Unfailing <coughs> love, yeah, Psalm 90. Yeah. I'm talking about unfailing love. Unfailing love. You and me need unfailing love. Yeah. Unfailing love is beautiful, wonderful. I need unfailing love. This man knows about unfailing love. He says, I trust in your unfailing love. Can you look at the Psalm chapter 3? <coughs> Book of Psalm chapter 3, verse 1. O oh Lord, how many are my foes? How many rise up against me? <coughs> he said, how many? You know, Psalm chapter 30, how long? Now, how many? <laughs> many are saying of me, God will not deliver him, shall I? But you are a shield around me, O Lord. You bestow glory on me and lift up my head. To the Lord I cry aloud. And he answers us, answers me from his holy hills, Shelah. Yeah. You know, he knows. And the to verse 5, I lie down and sleep. I wake up again because the Lord sustained me. How many of you feel that? I wake up again because the Lord sustained me. <laughs> Some elderly man, elderly woman, they knew very well. If God not wake up them, they are like finish. In this not old man, not old woman, you and me, same things. If God didn't wake up you, yeah, and me, <coughs> I, I'm not in here. I, you are not in here actually. Do you understand? And then I will not fear the tens of thousands and drawn up against me on the every side. Arise, O Lord. Deliver me, oh my God. Strike all my enemies on the Jew. Do you know what you <laughs> Strike. Strike all my enemies on the Jew. And, and break the teeth of the wicked. Can you imagine? This is his prayer. Yeah, David's prayer is a very, you know, look like a revenge prayer. You deal with my enemies. Strike the, the, the joke. Jo and to break the teeth of the wicked. 
from the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessing be on your people, Shalom. Yeah. And verse uh, chapter 4, verse 2, Psalm chapter 4, verse 2. How long, O man, will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love delicious sin and seek false God? Know that the Lord has set apart the glory for himself. The Lord will hear when I call to him. In your anger, do not sin. When you are on your bed, search your heart and be silent. Shall I offer light sacrifice and trust in the Lord? Many are asking, who can show us any good? Let the light of your face shine upon us, O Lord. You have filled my heart with a great joy, you see. Then when your grain and new wine around. And I will lay down and sleep in peace. For you alone, O Lord, may give me dwell in safety. David, he was a wonderful songwriter. He's a beautiful summer. He knows how to worship in God. He knows the heart of God. That is what God say about David. David was a man after God's heart. Do you know the heart of God? It's wonderful to knowing Jesus. Do you know Jesus? Therefore, intimate relationship with him is most important. Spend time with his word. Listen to his word. Praise Him. Pray. When you pray means you talk with Him. Yeah? Prayer means uh, not one, one way. You know, two ways. You can speak and you listen. He will speak to you and uh, He will listen to you. My sheep knows my voice. I'm good shepherd. I lay my life for my sheep. I listen to my sheep. My sheep knows my voice. That kind of a relationship. Do you understand the relationship? Therefore, if you go back to the verse, uh, chapter 13, book of Psalm, he said again, look at verse 5, But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. Yeah. Can you trust in his unfailing love? Yeah. He said, Four times in Psalm chapter 13, how long, O oh Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long I wrestle with my thought? Every day have sorrow in my heart. Do you understand? Do you have that kind of a situation at the moment? How long must I rest uh, with my thought? And how long will my enemy triumph over me? If you have that kind of thought, now is the time for you and me trust in his unfailing love. If you trust in his unfailing love, you can have great victory. You're a more than conqueror. You know how to defeat the enemy. If you trust in his unfailing love, yeah, you can fight to against anybody with the love of God, with the unfailing love, with the agape love, unconditional love. David, he knows the unfailing love. David, he knows about the, the God's heart. And he said, I will sing to the Lord, for he has been good to me. I know, I know. He always good to me. I never doubt. In my trouble, in my hardship, He's so good to me. How many will believe that God is so good to you, yeah? In any situation, you must believe that God is so good to you. Therefore, you must remember His unfailing love. Unfailing love changed my life. All of you, unfailing love come upon your life last year and you start a new life with unfailing love. 
Let's pray. Dear Father, we thank you for your <coughs> unfailing love. David cried four times. He said, how long, how long, how long? But he said, but I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, for he has been so good to me. Dear Lord, in our hardship and its difficult situation, we trust in you. Especially we claim that we trust in your unfailing love. Therefore, we will rejoice in your salvation. We will sing to the Lord. We know that God has been so good to us. We bless your name. We never lose to this unfailing love. Jesus, we bless your name. Dear Father, we praise your name. Receive all the glory and all and power. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Keep on praying for mission to Germany from 29 to 31st of January. And then, um, yeah, for only three days trip in Frankfurt. And pray for mission to India for two weeks from 17 to 30th of um, the March. And uh, God bless you.